I wouldn't say it's the quickest way, it's just mm -hmm. the only way. Hello, my name is Willem Schultz, and welcome to CalTV News. Have you seen these yellow loop benches around campus? Have you ever wondered, who is this for? Who's allowed to ride the loop? Maybe you've seen the golf carts driving around. Well, in today's episode, we're going to take an inside look at UC Berkeley's latest campus transportation. We'll be interviewing students at the Disability Lab, hearing about how to use loop as well as some grievances students have with the service. Um, so my name is JR, or Justin Robin Porto, and I'm a fifth year studying um, bioengineering. I use the loop every day, actually. It's the only way I'm able to get to class. So um, to use the loop, I got it through um, DSP, the Disabled Students Program, and then I believe they sent an application to, um, I think, I'm not sure it's parking transportation, but it's a, a different um, subsection, uh, like I think DSP, that gives you um, accommodations, and they, they um, give you um, access to the loop. But then once you have all of that, you, um, you usually download the app, and then when you download the app, it's kind of like, I, I kind of like consider it like your personal, like, like a UC Berkeley Uber. Um, and then there are specific places that you can get picked up. There are now, and which is now um, designated by the loop bench. So if you're around campus, you'll see like a yellowish bench, and that's where um, the loop cars will come pick up and drop off uh, riders. So you pick the location that you want to get picked up and then dropped off, and then that's when you wait for the drivers to pick you up. Now the drive, so the cars can pick you up from a range of 10 minutes to 40 minutes. I'm Arnav Gupta, I'm a second year undergrad, um, so you can hear this. So when I came to Berkeley for the first time, I really wanted a type of service that could help me get from place to place, especially as a freshman, I didn't know where places were. Um, so I contacted DSP about the loop and whether a person with an automatic wheelchair um, could use the loop. Um, they assured me that there was a vehicle that was suitable for power chairs, for power lift and everything, but I went to the loop office and they said they don't yet have that vehicle. One comparable car has been released on October 28th after recording. Because I wouldn't say it's the quickest way, it's just mm -hmm. the only way. I have classes in um, in Echeverry, and, and so the only way for me to get to Echeverry is to use the loop. Um, but but the loop doesn't go all the way to Echeverry. The farthest it can go is Corey Hall. I know the loop drivers are trying their best, and I, I, like, I made good connections with all of them, so... Mm -hmm. I like don't like hate them at all and I can see like even like they are having a hard time like they're stressed out because they they really do care about their like their riders and they are like trying their best to make sure that each like each student is getting to their destination on time so I can see them doing their work but I do think that like, the university needs to give them more like more of like resources to like have them expand like their like, yeah, expand their reach so that they can help more students who need this resource. The part that was accessible for like motorized wheelchairs and other wheelchair users would be great. I guess I want to see Berkeley a lot more, uh, to be a lot more accessible um, in general. Um, in the lab last, last semester, I did, I did, I did like an ADA audit of campus. And what that showed me is while there are some spaces on campus that are accessible, a majority of them have certain limitations or issues in terms of access. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Willem Schultz, and this has been CalTV News. We'll see you next time.